In physics, sinusoidal or monochromatic plane wave is a special case of plane wave, a field whose value varies as a sinusoidal function of time and of the distance from some fixed plane. For any position x vec x in space and any time t t the value of such a field can be written as f x t equals a cos 2 pi nu x n minus c t plus phi Display style f vec x t equals a cos left two pi nu vec x c d o t vec n court plus var phi right, where n display style vec n is a unit length vector, the direction of propagation of the wave, and display style c d o t denotes the dot product of two vectors the parameter a display style a which may be a scalar or a vector is called the amplitude of the wave the coefficient nu display style nu a positive scalar its spatial frequency and the adimensional scalar phi display style var phi an angle in radians, is its initial phase or phase shift. The scalar quantity d equals x n display style d equals vec x c d o t vec n gives the signed displacement of the point x display style vec x from the plane that is perpendicular to n display style vec n and goes through the origin of the coordinate system this quantity is constant over each plane perpendicular to n display style vec n at time t equals 0 Display style t equals zero. The field f display style f varies with the displacement d display style d as a sinusoidal function f x zero equals a cos two pi new x n plus phi display style f vec x 0 equals a cos left 2 pi new vec x c d o t vec n plus var phi right the spatial frequency new display style new is the number of full cycles per unit of length along the direction n display style vec n for any other value of t display style t the field values are displaced by the distance c t display style court in the direction n Display style vec n. That is, the whole field seems to travel in that direction with velocity c. Display style c. For each displacement d. Display style d. The moving plane perpendicular to n. Display style vec n. At distance d plus c t display style d plus ct 
from the origin is called a wavefront. This plane lies at distance d d from the origin when t equals 0 display style t equals 0 and travels in the direction n display style vec n also with speed c display style c and the value of the field is then the same and constant in time at every one of its points a sinusoidal plane wave could be a suitable model for a sound wave within a volume of air that is small compared to the distance of the source provided that there are no echoes from nearly objects. In that case, f x t would be a scalar field, the deviation of air pressure at point x display style vec x and time t display style t away from its normal level at any fixed point x display style vec x the field will also vary sinusoidally with time it will be a scalar multiple of the amplitude a display style a between plus a display style plus a and minus a display style a when the amplitude a display style a is a vector orthogonal to n display style vec n the wave is said to be transverse such waves may exhibit polarization if a display style a can be oriented along two non-collinear directions when a display style a is a vector collinear with n display style vec n the wave is said to be longitudinal. These two possibilities are exemplified by the S shear waves and P pressure waves studied in seismology. The formula above gives a purely kinematic description of the wave, without reference to whatever physical process may be causing its motion. In a mechanical or electromagnetic wave that is propagating through an isotropic medium, the vector n display style vec n of the apparent propagation of the wave is also the direction in which energy or momentum is actually flowing however the two directions may be different in an anisotropic medium topic <laughs> alternative representations the same sinusoidal plane wave f display style f above can also be expressed in terms of sine instead of cosine using the elementary identity cos a equals sin a plus pi 2 display style cos a equals sin a plus pi 2 f x t equals a sin 2 pi nu x n minus c t plus phi Display style f vec x t equals a sin left two pi nu vec x c d o t vec n court plus var phi right, where phi equals phi plus pi two. Display style var phi equals var phi plus pi two. 
Thus the value and meaning of the phase shift depends on whether the wave is defined in terms of sine or cosine. Adding any integer multiple of 2 pi display style 2 pi to the initial phase phi display style var phi has no effect on the field adding an odd multiple of pi display style pi has the same effect as negating the amplitude a display style a assigning a negative value for the spatial frequency new display style new has the effect of reversing the direction of propagation with a suitable adjustment of the initial phase the formula of a sinusoidal plane wave can be written in several other ways f x t equals a cos 2 pi x n lambda minus t t plus phi display style f vec x t equals a cos 2 pi vec x c d o t vec n lambda t t plus var phi here lambda equals 1 new display style lambda equals 1 new is the wavelength the distance between two wave fronts where the field is equal to the amplitude a display style a and t equals lambda c display style t equals lambda c is the period of the field's variation over time seen at any fixed point in space its reciprocal f equals 1 t display style f equals 1 t is the temporal frequency of the wave measured in full cycles per unit of time f x t equals a cos k x n minus omega t plus phi display style f vec x t equals a cos k vec x c d o t vec n omega t plus var phi here k equals 2 pi new equals 2 pi lambda display style k equals 2 pi new equals 2 pi lambda is a parameter called the angular wave number measured in radians per unit of length and omega equals 2 pi t display style omega equals 2 pi t is angular frequency of the variation at a fixed point in radians per unit of time f x t equals a cos 2 pi x v minus omega t plus phi display style f vec x t equals a cos 2 pi vec x c d o t vec v omega t plus var phi where v equals nu n equals n lambda display style vec v equals new vec n equals vec n lambda 
is the spatial frequency vector or wave vector, a three-dimensional vector v equals v 1 v 2 v 3 display style vec v equals v underscore 1 v underscore 2 v underscore 3 where v i display style v underscore i is the number of full cycles that occur per unit of length at any fixed time along any straight line parallel to coordinate axis i display style i Topic. Complex exponential form A plane sinusoidal wave may also be expressed in terms of the complex exponential function E I Z equals EXP I Z equals cos Z plus i sin z display style e caret bold symbol i z equals exp bold symbol i z equals cos z plus bold symbol i sin z where e display style e is the base of the natural exponential function and Display style bold symbol i is the imaginary unit defined by the equation i two equals minus one. Display style bold symbol i caret two equals minus one. With those tools, one defines the complex exponential plane wave as u x t equals a exp i 2 pi new x n minus c t plus phi equals a exp i 2 Pi x v minus omega t plus phi display style u vec x t equals a exp bold symbol i two pi new vec x c d o t vec n court plus var phi equals a exp bold symbol i two pi vec x c d o t vec v omega t plus var phi where a new n C V Omega Phi Display style A new VEC N C VEC V Omega Var phi are as defined for the real sinusoidal plane wave. This equation gives a field U X T Display style u vec x t, whose value is a complex number or a vector with complex coordinates. To obtain the f x t equals re u x t display style f vec x t equals text re u vec x t to appreciate this equation's relationship to the earlier ones below is this same equation expressed using sines and cosines observe that the first term equals the real form of the plane wave just discussed u x t equals a cos 
2 pi new n x minus omega t plus phi plus i a sin 2 pi new n x minus omega t plus phi Display style u vec x t equals o cos two pi nu vec n c d o t vec x omega t plus var phi plus bold symbol i a sin two pi nu vec n c d o t vec x omega t plus var phi u x t equals f x t plus i a sin 2 pi nu n x minus omega t plus phi Display style u vec x t equals q quad f vec x t q quad q quad plus bold symbol i a sin two pi nu vec n c d o t vec x omega t plus var phi. The introduced complex form of the plane wave can be simplified by using a complex valued amplitude. C. Display style c. Substitute the real valued amplitude a display style a. Specifically, since the complex form exp i two pi x v minus omega t plus phi equals exp i 2 pi new n x minus omega t e i phi Display style exp bold symbol i two pi vec x c d o t vec v omega t plus var phi equals exp bold symbol i two pi new vec n c d o t vec x omega t e caret bold symbol i var phi. One can absorb the phase factor e i phi. Display style e caret bold symbol i var phi into a complex amplitude by letting c equals a e i phi display style c equals a caret bold symbol i var phi resulting in the more compact equation u x T equals C EXP I two Pi X V minus Omega T Display style U VEC X T equals C EXP bold symbol I two Pi VEC X C D O T VEC V Omega T While the complex form has an imaginary component, after the necessary calculations are performed in the complex plane, its real value can be extracted giving a real valued equation representing an actual plane wave. Re U x t equals f x t equals 
a cuz 2 pi nu n x minus omega t plus phi Display style operator name re u vec x t equals f vec x t equals a cos two pi nu vec n c d o t vec x omega t plus var phi. The main reason one would choose to work with complex exponential form of plane waves is that complex exponentials are often algebraically easier to handle than the trigonometric sines and cosines. Specifically, the angle addition rules are extremely simple for exponentials. Additionally, when using Fourier analysis techniques for waves in a lossy medium, the resulting attenuation is easier to deal with using complex Fourier coefficients. If a wave is traveling through a lossy medium, the amplitude of the wave is no longer constant, and therefore the wave is strictly speaking no longer a true plane wave. In quantum mechanics the solutions of the Schrödinger wave equation are by their very nature complex valued and in the simplest instance take a form identical to the complex plane wave representation above. The imaginary component in that instance however has not been introduced for the purpose of mathematical expediency but is in fact an inherent part of the wave. In special relativity, one can utilize an even more compact expression by using four vectors. The four position x equals c t x display style vec x equals court vec x. The four wave vector two pi new n equals omega c 2 pi new n display style 2 pi new vec n equals left frac omega c 2 pi new vec n right the scalar product 2 pi new n x equals omega t minus 2 pi new n x display style 2 pi new vec n c d o t VEC x equals omega t two pi nu VEC n c d o t VEC x. Thus, u x t equals c e x p i two pi nu n x minus omega t display style u vec x t equals c exp bold symbol i 2 pi nu vec n c d o t vec x omega t becomes u x equals c exp minus I two pi new n x display style u vec x equals c exp bold symbol i two pi new vec n c d o t vec x topic applications. The equations describing electromagnetic radiation in a homogeneous dielectric medium admit as special solutions that are sinusoidal plane waves. In electromagnetism, the field F 
is typically the electric field, magnetic field, or vector potential, which in an isotropic medium is perpendicular to the direction of propagation n vec n the amplitude a display style a is then a vector of the same nature equal to the maximum strength field the propagation speed c display style c will be the speed of light in the medium the equations that describe vibrations in a homogeneous elastic solid also admit solutions that are sinusoidal plane waves, both transverse and longitudinal. These two types have different propagation speeds, that depend on the density and the Lamé parameters of the medium. The fact that the medium imposes a propagation speed means that the parameters omega displaystyle omega and k displaystyle k must satisfy a dispersion relation characteristic of the medium. The dispersion relation is often expressed as a function omega k display style omega k the ratio omega k display style omega k gives the magnitude of the phase velocity and the derivative omega k display style partial omega partial k gives the group velocity for electromagnetism in an isotropic medium with index of refraction r display style r the phase velocity is c r display style c r which equals the group velocity if the index is not frequency dependent in linear uniform media, a general solution to the wave equation can be expressed as a superposition of sinusoidal plane waves. This approach is known as the angular spectrum method. The form of the plane wave solution is actually a general consequence of translational symmetry. More generally, for periodic structures having discrete translational symmetry, the solutions take the form of block waves, most famously in crystalline atomic materials but also in photonic crystals and other periodic wave equations. As another generalization, for structures that are only uniform along one direction x such as a waveguide along the x direction, the solutions waveguide modes are of the form exp i k x omega t multiplied by some amplitude function a y z. This is a special case of a separable partial differential equation. Topic. Polarized electromagnetic plane waves Represented in the first illustration toward the right is a linearly polarized, electromagnetic wave. Because this is a plane wave, each blue vector, indicating the perpendicular displacement from a point on the axis out to the sine wave, represents the magnitude and direction of the electric field for an entire plane that is perpendicular to the axis. Represented in the second illustration is a circularly polarized, electromagnetic plane wave. Each blue vector indicating the perpendicular displacement from a point on the axis out to the helix, also represents the magnitude and direction of the electric field for an entire plane perpendicular to the axis. In both illustrations, along the axes is a series of shorter blue vectors which are scaled down versions of the longer blue vectors. These shorter blue vectors are extrapolated out into the block of black vectors which fill a volume of space. Notice that for a given plane, the black vectors are identical, indicating that the magnitude and direction of the electric field is constant along that plane. In the case of the linearly polarized light, the field strength from plane to plane varies from a maximum in one direction, down to zero, and then back up to a maximum in the opposite direction. In the case of the circularly polarized light, the field strength remains constant from plane to plane but its direction steadily changes in a rotary-type manner. 
Not indicated in either illustration is the electric field's corresponding magnetic field which is proportional in strength to the electric field at each point in space but is at a right angle to it. Illustrations of the magnetic field vectors would be virtually identical to these except all the vectors would be rotated 90 degrees about the axis of propagation so that they were perpendicular to both the direction of propagation and the electric field vector. The ratio of the amplitudes of the electric and magnetic field components of a plane wave in free space is known as the free space wave impedance, equal to 376.730313 ohms. See also Angular spectrum method Collimated beam Plane waves in a vacuum Plane wave expansion Rectilinear propagation Wave equation